And I'd like an answer from all of you. Do you support students? Yes, Doctor, I you do, do support students. Wonderful. And I think it's um, crazy to say that supporting students somehow makes you anti-teachers union or Department of Education. <laughs> I mean, the teacher, let, let's understand, and, and unions are great, right? Teachers, unions are just that. They support the teachers. So I thought we were doing a hearing on students. So you support the students. Yes. How about you? Do you support students? Yes, ma'am. Next. Yes, I do. Wonderful. How about you, ma'am? Of course. Okay, just so we're all clear, we're all here about the students, right? Because the goal today is about the student. Just checking. Okay. All right. In my home state of Michigan and across the country, families have suffered through prolonged school closings and lockdowns during the COVID-19 pandemic. That just, it, it is what it is, right? Most students fell behind in math and reading, and we actually have data facts, right, to support that, um, and due to the forced remote instruction. I mean, I think the teachers did the best they could with the situation at hand. But Dr. Burke, can you talk more about how School of Choice actually helped families during the pandemic? Sure. Because I think what the pandemic showed, too, is people learn in different ways. Right? We, we shouldn't go and we shouldn't just have this one size fits all because last I checked, we're here about the student, right? So do you think school of choice helped parents get their kids back in school sooner? Do you think in-person instruction would help these students close the learning gap created by the pandemic? Can you just talk about little, a little bit about that from the eyes of the most important, and that is the student. Yes, thank you, Congresswoman, for reorient, reorienting us to the student question uh, at hand today, because it is all about students, and we do not want students trapped in unaccountable public schools. Uh, but if we look at Catholic schools, in particular during the pandemic, you're absolutely right. Private schools were much more likely to reopen much quicker than the district schools, largely because teachers unions kept those district schools closed. If we look at Catholic schools, they opened much quicker as soon as they knew it was safe to reopen, when the science showed that it was safe to reopen schools, and the result has been pretty phenomenal. There was a, a, a piece by Kathleen Porter McGee in the Wall Street Journal recently, and she found that if all Catholic schools, all 1.6 million children in Catholic schools were a state, they would outperform every other state on the NAEP and math and reading. And so they gained, low-income kids in particular, uh, minority students in Catholic schools gained uh, 10 points in reading over the course of the pandemic when students across the country actually lost uh, three points in reading and eight points in math. I mean, this is a phenomenal story to tell about how Catholic schools thrived. Well, let, Dr. Burke, let's not let the facts get in the way of good story over here. So <laughs> let's get one thing straight. Teachers unions in this country do not care about children. They are an arm of the Democrat party. They are the Democrat party. I'm old enough to remember COVID when they kept our schools closed. Huge chasm between what was going on in liberal cities run by teachers unions and conservative cities that weren't really. Remember, they kept our kids in masks they're the ones pushing diversity, equity, and inclusion, the 1619 Project, the oppressors and the oppressed based upon the color of your skin. And now what we see is schools around this country in mostly liberal cities, guess what? Some of them have absolutely no proficiency in math and reading. How are teachers unions benefiting our children? They are not, period, dot, not. They don't want to make our children better and brighter. They don't want school choice. School choice simply allows you to apply those tax dollars that you're working so hard for to a school of your choosing, whether that's religious or something artistic. No, 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 they want you under the thumb. They aren't public schools, by the way. They are government schools. And it is sick that they are using our children as political pawns.